Hey everybody, welcome back to Coder Responsive Website with Bootstrap 3. This video is called Coding the Popover and Tooltip with jQuery. That sounds funny, doesn't it? All right, uh, this is what we're gonna code. This is the final website right here. With the modal window, we have a popover in this button. Don't click this button, I just clicked it. And you get a little popover letting you know that you just clicked the button and it knew you would. And we also have this link is a tooltip and this link is a tooltip. These are cool things that you can add in Bootstrap 3 so easily and they add value to your site and it's awesome using them and it's super easy. So let's jump right in, open up your code editor, go to your index file, the HTML. If you scroll to your modal window code right here and the section we added that said text in a modal and we had popovers in a modal, let's start by adding the popover. So first, we need to add a few attributes to this A tag to tell Bootstrap that we're gonna make this a popover. It's really easy. Let's add a data toggle attribute and it will toggle the popover data placement equals top, meaning we want the popover to be placed on the top and data original title equals you clicked it. That's the title of the popover and data content. That is the content of the popover. I knew you would. All right, save that. Now, here comes the fun part. Open up your script.js and let's uh, code a little bit of jQuery. This is very easy. Outside of your alert me function that you built, uh, let's select the A with the class of pop. Remember we added that link and we gave it the class of pop. That's why, this is why we did that. So we're gonna select that A with the class of pop, A pop. Click. First, we want to prevent the default functionality because it's a link, we don't wanna click it and then refresh the browser. We want that to be nixed. We don't want that in there. So click function. This is how you write your jQuery function right here. So A pop dot click and we have the open uh, bracket function, open and close bracket, open curly brace, close curly brace, bracket, semicolon. Copy that. That is the typical way of writing a jQuery function. We're gonna put an E variable in here, just like we did up here. And E.prevent default. That prevents the default behavior of the link. Okay, save that. Let's just double check that works. Go to your website and refresh up and click on the button. If you if your browser refreshes, something's wrong. My browser's not refreshing. If yours isn't, you did it right. Awesome. Go back to your jQuery. Let's add another jQuery function. This is so easy. This is how easy it is to add the popover functionality with Bootstrap 3. Watch this. A, but the class of pop, we selected it. All right, here it is. Drum roll. Boom, that makes it a popover. Watch this. Click it, do it. There it is. Awesome, that was so easy. All right, let's go down and add the functionality for the tooltips. Go back to your HTML and go to the tooltip section. We have the empty links right here. All we need to do is add some attributes. Let's give it the data original title is going to be tooltip. So because tooltips only have one bit of text in there, we just add a data, data original title. And rel equals tooltip. We add rel because we want to select uh, all, uh, all links with the rel of tooltip in jQuery and say make it a tooltip. And I'll show you how to do that in one second. So save that and do the same thing. In fact, just copy this these two attributes and add it to this one as well. But change this from tooltip to woohoo, with an exclamation point, because we're excited about tooltips. Save that. Go to your jQuery, and under the popover function, let's select uh, the 
all links with or all instances with the rel of tooltip. So this is how you do that. This is how you select an attribute. So rel equals tooltip. Uh, and just a quick note, make sure if you're, you can use either in a jQuery function, you can use to select either double curly, uh, sorry, double quotes or single quotes. But you can't, for example, in this case, we have quotes inside of quotes. Make sure that they're, they are the other version of the quote. So you can't put, uh, you can't select with single quotes and then have rel equals and then put single quotes. That's going to cancel things out and going to make your jQuery break. So if these are double quotes, then your inside ones need to be single quotes or vice versa. If your outside ones are single quotes, your inside ones need to be double quotes. So the way that I wrote it here will work. Okay, so we selected the rel tooltip and now we want to add the tooltip function, the bootstrap3 tooltip function. Watch how easy this one is. It's almost easier than popover. There it is. Now let's refresh and check it out, see if it works. Tooltips, hover. There it is, tooltip one. Woohoo, tooltip two. That's it, my friends, you did it. See you in the next lecture.